The show Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which was hugely popular in the 90s, is getting a modern remake with a black female lead. I come to you with arts and culture, and I can just go on and on and on every single day about another remake and another thing that they are just absolutely ruining. This time, it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and that was something I actually watched in the 90s and the early 2000s. That was my time. And I am not the only one that is upset about this. You will not believe who else is upset. Believe it or not, Anita Sarkeesian is upset. She tweeted, I just screamed no at the top of my lungs. Why no, please for the love of all that is good, please do not do this. Everyone is really giving it to her because she was the kingpin of Gamergate. She was the center of calling everyone misogynists and racist if they wanted their games changed. And it's really showing how this is something she actually likes and relates to and relates it to her childhood possibly. And it is being changed and messed with and taken to another place and she doesn't like it. See exactly how it feels. First they came for the Transformers and I said nothing. All we ever wanted to do was play video games. That's it. We never asked for anything else. Just let us play our video games and leave us alone. But no, you couldn't just let that slide and leave us well enough alone. Don't get in the way of progress, Anita. It seems that you are on the other end of the diversity reboot perspective. Welcome to the dark side, Anita. I hope you understand where us nerds come from with other examples of this in the media now. You have my support and agreement with you on this issue. I was the same when they rebooted Ghostbusters right in the ghoulies. Only now it's not okay, back then you were just a man baby. You're forgetting a misogynist too. This is what they did, they called everyone misogynist or racist if you didn't like their reboot. But now she's really seeing what it feels like to change something you love. And this is what we've been saying, this is what Comicsgate is about, this is what Gamersgate is about. We just like our storylines and we like the way that they were and how we grew up with them and you keep changing it and you're changing it to be modern and progressive and it's pissing people off. And now it's even pissing the left off and it's quite funny. They came for the hot chicks in my games, they came for the hot chicks in my comics, then they came for the hot chicks in my movies. You celebrated, now they're coming for the hot chicks you like. Newsweek said that the producers, including the show's creator, announced that the inclusive revival series will see a black actress take on the iconic role made famous by Sarah Michelle Gellar in the 90s. So this really shows you that this isn't just a spin-off where they take that world and that concept and they bring it to 2018 or 2019, whenever this is going to be airing, but they're replacing the role of Sarah Michelle Gellar with a black person and doing more inclusive storylines. And it's just complete, utter disrespect to the whole series and the fans. I mean, it was a huge series because of the fans and I don't see how they can really upset all these fans with doing this. The team have described the series as a contemporary, but have said that it also builds on the mythology of the original. Like our world, they said it will be richly diverse, and like the original, some aspects of the series could be seen as metaphors for issues facing us all today. Wow. So they really want to insert all of the political correctness into this new Buffy series and replace the Sarah Michelle Gellar character. I'm sad to hear claims original Buffy wasn't inclusive enough when it featured interracial dating, openly gay characters, diverse characters, all first for that time period. Millennials, time happened before you guys, okay? You guys didn't discover anything. Hashtag Buffy reboot. Someone said, so I guess Republicans won't be watching. I mean, I suppose they could, but if it's what they explain, that it's gonna be contemporary and filled with more modern day issues that are worldly and purposefully, it sounds like they're purposefully trying to implement these social causes and justices that uh, we tend to not like. So I don't know, maybe I'll give it a shot, see how it is. But I don't see why they couldn't create a new character, a new name. Um, they've already had other black slayers and it, it could be fantastic. This is what I don't understand with these types of things. Why do you have to defile the original when you can create a new character? It's kind of insulting actually to the 
black community and this black actress that she has to replace another character when she could be her own great character and have her own persona. You could have just said Buffy reboot. Why bring race into it? What does race matter? CNN is racist. That's what they like to do. They love to point out race and uh, virtue signal, just like this new uh, Supergirl. They, all the headlines are saying trans, trans, trans. I'm gonna do a video on this a little bit later, but it's all trans, trans, trans. If you wanna be trans, why are you constantly talking about it being trans? Supergirl, why does anyone even have to know? A mostly apolitical show with wit, humor, nuance, a strong father-daughter dynamic based on respect, men and women working side by side, girls in cute outfits, rebooted in 2019. People who made fun of fans for not liking Ghostbusters 2016, TLJ, Thundercats Roar, and the new She-Ra reboot, yet get mad at the new Buffy reboot. Have no business making fun of fans anymore. How does it feel to be the, quote, toxic ones? And that's exactly it. I mean, it's only a matter of time before things that they like start getting messed with and they don't like it. And at that point, you really can't have anything to say when people didn't like something in the past. You mess with a guy's thing like Ghostbusters or their comic books or their video games, they're gonna be upset and it has nothing to do with misogyny. Even the website Mary Sue said that they are unhappy about this black Buffy the Vampire Slayer reboot. She said, don't get me wrong, it's not inclusive casting that I'm objecting to. I just want black women to get their own series. That she is forever going to be known as the black Buffy and that's something I find frustrating. Lefties, feminists, all sorts of people are quite objecting to this and it's really, really telling. I think it's time is up for this kind of thing. Let's start creating new content. I keep saying this, let's make new content. Let's make new content. Not only on the right where we should be creating content and pursuing the arts and putting our stuff out there, but I think the left is also really lazy and bored and ran out of ideas and they're starting to reboot all these things and it's even pissing the left off. If you wanna see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.